Hello, I'm Lisa Crispin. Welcome to Test Automation in DevOps. In this course, I hope to give you guidance to learn ways your team can use test automation to successfully deliver business value to customers frequently at a sustainable pace. That was Elizabeth Hendrickson's Agile Asset Test, and I think it applies to DevOps as well. We hear it called DevOps, but it does include tests and QA includes business stakeholders, it includes other roles on the delivery team, and of course we don't want to forget about our customer. This is a whole team effort. Test automation is a key factor in succeeding with continuous delivery, getting these small frequent changes deployed to production. And we can also use automated tools to help us learn in production how our customers are using our product and identify problems there as well. This course is designed to make you aware of all the possibilities and benefits of test automation in DevOps and continuous delivery, and let you be able to have conversations about it with your team. As Lisey Hawk explains in her Test Automation University course, the whole team approach to continuous testing, this is a team effort and responsibility. So we're gonna help you be part of that effort. I've been learning about this topic, TevOps, continuous delivery, test automation, testing and production, not only with my own teams at work, but also by helping others learn by collaborating with some wonderful leading practitioners. And I thank them for a lot of the material they've contributed here. For your team to collaborate, you need to be able to communicate. I'll cover some basic concepts and terminology about DevOps, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment, as well as techniques for operability and learning from production use. I'll talk about automation strategy for DevOps, and I encourage you to watch Angie Jones's Setting a Foundation for Successful Test Automation course in Test Automation University here, because you need this foundation to build on. Your team can't do everything at once, so you, we need step-by-step -step techniques to build out our automation and keep improving it. It's not all about the tools, but today, today's technology really does let us build and test faster. Cloud infrastructure used well can speed up our deployment pipelines exponentially. I'll talk about how to use automation both for testing before and after release to reduce risk and guide our development. We need to be able to see where we're going. I'll share some ways to shorten feedback loops. How will you know if new changes have broken something customers are already using? This is not only about pipelines and technology. We need collaboration all along the way across the business. Get your whole team engaged in building these feedback loops so that we know if our changes have caused problems with the system behavior, performance, security, or any other quality attributes. This course is your introduction to test automation and DevOps. I provided some wonderful resources to help you and your team learn more as you continue to meet your automation needs. So let's dive in.